if your Hisense TV does not have Bluetooth or you can't just find the Bluetooth settings of your Hisense Smart TV, in this particular video, I will give you three options that can enable you install or get Bluetooth on any Hisense TV you have. Before we dive into the video, I would like to mention that this particular problem is usually the case when you have an older model of Hisense Smart TV. But trust me, by the end of this video, one of the solutions I'm going to share with you in this particular video will definitely work out for you. But before we dive into the video, please make sure you smash that like button and subscribe to this YouTube channel for more interesting tech tips like this one. Now, over here is my Hisense Vida Smart TV and to get Bluetooth on this particular TV, the first thing you want to do is to go ahead and try updating the software and firmware of your Hisense Smart TV. So you just want to go over to the settings of your Hisense Smart TV, click on the settings icon over here and then you want to scroll down until you get to support over here. Now click on it and then you want to go to system update over here, click on it. And then you want to check if there is actually any update. In my case over here, I actually turned on auto update so that the smart TV will automatically update itself once there is any update. But in your case, what you want to do if it is not turned on is to go ahead and check if there is actually any update on your Hisense smart TV. Now, if there is actually any update, you want to make sure you update your smart TV. And once it is updated, you want to go back to the connectivity settings of your smart TV. And then you want to go ahead and check if actually the Bluetooth option is now available on your smart TV. Now, like I said before, this issue is usually the case with older models of Hisense smart TVs. And by updating your Hisense smart TV, you might just be able to get the Bluetooth app back on the TV. Now, this is just one solution. And if it doesn't actually work for you, then you want to go ahead and try the second solution. For the second solution, you just want to go ahead and try getting an external Bluetooth adapter. Now, a Bluetooth adapter is a very cheap device that actually enables you to be able to give Bluetooth connectivity capability on any device you want. This particular device is very cheap and affordable and it basically looks just like this over here. Now, this is not exactly a Bluetooth adapter but it actually looks so much like it. And basically what you want to do is to go ahead and purchase this device. I'm going to be leaving a link to this particular device in the description of this video. So what you just want to do is to go ahead and get it for your smart TV. And once you get it and then plug it to any of the USB ports on your TV, you're good to go. This particular device usually comes with a headphone jack and the headphone jack should be plugged into any of the headphone ports on your TV. And once it is plugged into your TV, you can now go ahead and connect any other device like a speaker or a soundbar to your TV with that particular device because it basically just gives your TV the Bluetooth capability it needs for it to be able to connect to external devices. If the previous two solutions did not work out for you or they are absolutely not a good consideration for you, then one thing you want to do is to just try and get a TV stick or a TV box just like this one. Now, majority of the time, these TV sticks and boxes usually come Bluetooth enabled such that you can now connect any external device to the box and it will now be working as though it is actually connected to the TV. So for instance, this is actually the Mi TV stick and I'm also going to be leaving a link to this particular device in the description of this video. Now, once you get it and plug it to any of the HDMI ports on your TV, it automatically gives you the Android TV environment that also comes with a Bluetooth for you to now be able to connect an external speaker or a soundbar or whatever to your TV and it's going to work perfectly well. In fact, in my Hisense TV over here, I actually have this device enabled and it works perfectly well. So for instance, if you come over to HDMI 1 where this particular device is plugged on my TV and then go over to the settings of this particular Android TV stick that has been plugged into my TV, if you come down to remote and accessories over here, it actually has Bluetooth enabled such that you can now connect any external device to your TV and it's going to work perfectly well. Now remember, this is actually a Hisense Vida Smart TV, but I'm still able to connect to the Bluetooth of this particular Mi TV stick and it works perfectly well. So if your Hisense Smart TV does not have Bluetooth, these are basically all of the options you might just want to consider to get Bluetooth on your Smart TV. If you find this video useful, please make sure you smash that like button and subscribe to this YouTube channel for more interesting tech tips like this one.